Well, we're off on our Orlando trip for New Year's Eve. We have a dump site by our house and Vinny has to go hide some garbage until we get back because he saw something he liked. Naturally. Put that seat on my golf, on my lawnmower. <laughs> it's like an office chair. You need a fire pit? A towel top. Mm-hmm. What's this big thing here? Ooh, it's a dishwasher. We need a new dishwasher. Nah, uh, if someone's throwing away, then it ain't working. Anything good? No, I'm so glad you didn't bring that heap of garbage in our car right now. I see I you. Oh, yeah, I see you hit it for later. Good thinking. Look, I can't figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> Garbage picker. favorite stores in City Walk and just taking a look around and see what they what new they have here. It's been a couple years since we've been here so just kind of taking a look around.
What do you have to have? I have to have this. <laughs> Benny had said he wanted to get this tattoo. Nope, I found it. <laughs> Yummy. And there's mine. Fish and chips. Holy cow. Benny, so what's the story on this plane? The story on this plane is Jimmy <laughs> Buffett did a song called Jamaica Mistake. The whole story was that he was flying into Jamaica to have jerk shrimp, which apparently is one of his favorites. And upon flying in, the authorities shot at him because they thought he was a drug smuggler. And uh, they were apologetic afterwards when they found out the truth. But uh, he wrote a song about it. It's called Jamaica Mistake. Check it out. Pretty cool. Pretty cool.
Lounge fly. You put all your purse and everything. Yeah, you can put your purse in there, your yeah. phone, everything. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. the Anjitos place? For whom can I turn? An animal stays on at all kinds of conditions, like the ocean, the sun, This is really cute. in the door by the painless dead dudes. <laughs> Whoa, that's a red light. Whoa! Warning. <laughs> now the minions are really gonna come after you. To my spring chick. At least you didn't call me Cooper. <laughs> Thanks, Vinny. You should have called you Hooper. Hooper drives me nuts. <laughs> feeling saucy today. And he's going, I think I might oh, buy yeah. me some AirPods. Oh yes, they will be mine. <laughs> he got himself a nice gift card from work. Burning a hole in the pocket. <laughs> so he's feeling saucy, going to get some AirPods. I think I'm going to do the the first gen. The, is, that, is it the first? The 119? Yeah. That's second gen? Yes. Even better? All right. In all the excitement, I forgot to film my 
what I saw at Target that I liked. I went over to the Christmas aisle and stuff was 70% off and I had to restrain myself, but this is all that I got. <laughs> Look how cute these are. Little cookie cutters. And this one, I've been looking for these things for the longest time. I had them a couple years ago. Peppermint Tootsie Pops. And on Amazon, they're so expensive for some reason. And I got these, I think, for maybe like 89 cents or something. And these things look so cool. I can't wait to try them. We love Jelly Bellies. And these are cocktail ones. So it says on here, gin and tonic, margarita, mimosa, Moscow mule, pina colada, and strawberry daiquiri. So I definitely have to try these. And some of these are gifts my brother loves Fruity Pebbles. At least when we were kids, we loved Fruity Pebbles. So I got this for him. I got this for my niece. It's so cute. Couldn't pass it up. I got all this stuff. Looked at my receipt for like with tax, I think like 20 bucks. It was pretty good. They had tons of stuff at Target. So I have to probably go back and check it out again. <laughs>
We're just getting ready to leave to go to Disney Springs this morning before we head home, but we had a great trip. Last night I went to see Drawn to Life at Cirque du Soleil with my sister, and that was a lot of fun. And we've never done that before, so that was just a really awesome show. Couldn't take any video or pictures of it, but I did get some before pictures of before they started, so I'll, I'll put those in. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna have a good day today at Disney Springs, and we'll take some video when we're down there. <laughs> oh, our ritual going around John's surf shop.
listening to. cocktail on the drive home. Chewing and driving. <laughs> Alright, Vincent. Got an orange one. Let's see if we can figure out what that one is. What does it taste like to you? <laughs> Got the official taste tester. So it's either going to be mimosa, because it tastes like orange. Yeah. Next one. Dr. Pepper that gives it the Dr. Pepper taste. Okay. 
caramel? No. Yeah. Yellow number five. Maybe that's it. <laughs> it is caramel. No, it's not. Well, this one's a sugar tapioca syrup. Food starch. What is it that's in Dr. Pepper that gives Dr. Caramel. Pepper its signature taste? No, and you're just no. asking me? Okay, then I know. I know it ain't caramel. I know it's caramel. No, it ain't. Caramel don't taste like that. It don't have a taste. That's not the only ingredient, but I'm just saying caramel is in it, I believe, in Dr. Pepper. Okay. Mmm. It has like that. The Dr. Pepper just what I'm saying. Like a fizzy taste yeah. in your mouth. Like, what is like Dr. Pepper. Like, not like a burning taste, kind of like what you're saying. Like, what is the what is that in Dr. Pepper? Phosphate. <laughs> Does it say phosphate up here? It says no phosphoric acid. Hey Siri. Phosphoric acid. Acid. What are the ingredients of Dr. Pepper? Sorry, I can't show the result to you while you're in the car. <laughs> but you could eat it. Let's try another one. It's hard to do this with one hand. Here, you want another one? Yeah. 